how's it going, everybody? Good to see you, Marshall. All you guys, wow, you guys are so fast at getting in here. Awesome. So I got a couple things I want to do with you guys here. I thought we'd do it live. I got some new equipment thanks to your super chats in my last live stream for mobile live streaming. And I thought I'd just go over with you guys uh, what my mobile live stream setup is, the equipment I picked up, and um, just give you guys, show you like what it's like without it, what it's like with, with it, and let you guys maybe be the judge of whether or not this would be helpful for you. Hi, guys. Hey, Legos, and do the stuff. So, um, and then I want to ask, answer questions with you guys. Uh, and and um, if you have any questions about some of this gear I'm about to show you, and got a whole bunch of stuff here, um, and we can talk about it. But, uh, hey, Roberto, good to see you, man. Uh, so, there's a link in the description, uh, but before I jump into this, Andy, Crash Power, dude, five bucks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, Andy. Um, yeah, yeah, and it's because of your super chats that I, that I was able to pick this stuff up. Like, not even a lie, it's like from, the, from our last live stream, so thank you. Uh, okay, so if, you wanna, if you're watching the replay of this, you wanna get notifications about next time I go live, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either text the word VC Live to the number 43506, and I'll send you a text message notification when I go live, or just uh, hit the bell next to the subscribe button beneath this video on YouTube and enable notifications and uh, and you can do it that way too. So, hi Diet Cola, hey Teresa, good to see you guys. So, first thing I got is, uh, let me show you guys this, um, this wide angle, this wide angle lens. Uh, so I got the Olo clip. Now I tried a couple different ones of these and um, I, I ended up going with this one. This one's specifically for, I have an iPhone 6, so it's made specifically for the iPhone 6. And um, the reason I went with this, I actually bought a cheaper one on Amazon that was like a clip on the, and I wanted that because I thought, well, maybe I could like live stream from my iPad. That would be easier because um, like it's a much bigger, a much bigger screen and I'll be able to like keep up with chat better and things like that. But the problem with the clip on one, like the cheap one, was that it's so big. It was like, I'm not even kidding, like this big around. That's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to see you guys live too. Hey, <laughs> hey, AC works. So, uh, yes, I see you, Mr. X. So it was so big that when I put it on, like, on my lens uh, or on my iPad or on my phone, it took up, it like was covering a significant part of the screen. So I wasn't even able to like, it was like covering the chat area, or, like where your where your messages would be going. And so like I knew that wasn't that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> So uh, I, re I returned it and I went and bought this one even though it was more than twice as much. This one doesn't, it, bar it covers like a barely any part of the screen. Um, and so like it, I can still totally see your chat. It's not, a, it's not obscuring my view of everything. Hi Chantel. Yes, exactly. I've totally defeated the purpose. Um, and so that's why I went ahead and got this one even though it was like twice as much money. Um, and so let me show you what it's like before. I'm using it right now, actually. This is the wide-angle lens. And uh, links to it. Uh, who was asking that? Ethan. Oh, <laughs> he looks at the piano girl. $4. Thank you. I'm using your tips. My stats are up. That's awesome. Good for you. I'm glad your channel's growing. Um, so let me show you what it's like before and after. This, this is with it right now. This is just the normal wide-angle lens on the front-facing camera. So I'm just gonna slip it off, and you're gonna see, so, so, so take a good look at, well, don't take a good look at my face. Hello, Can Canada immigrants. Uh, and this is with it off. See how much closer I am now? See, that's, so this is what, I, like, this is how close I would normally be like if I was, like, holding the phone. Uh, I would be this close, and you wouldn't, it, it, it's kind of, like, not a great shot, you know? It's like, um, you can't see a whole lot, and especially if you're going to be doing this like out live in like a, an environment that's like a little bit louder, you're not you're going to have to get really close to get better audio, which means that if um, th th which means like it's going to be like really tight up in your facials. Isn't this weird? Like no one wants to watch a video like this. So let me put it back. You'll see the difference again. Boom. Now it's back on. And it's much wider. It's like much bigger space. Let me let me show you the other side. Now the cool thing about this is that there's is a, um, has a camera lens on both the front facing one and the rear facing. So let me flip you guys around. You can see this on my living room. Okay, now that's the fish eye. It's a little bit wide, obviously, um, but let me. That's that's with it, and then that's without it. You guys see the difference? So that's that's the normal camera lens, 
that's with the, now this is the fisheye now obviously that you probably it looks like a big bulge let me um let me flip it so i can flip my my lens you can flip it around either way you can put whichever lens you want on on either side so let me put the wide angle lens on you guys what you're seeing right now because that's the one that i don't think the wide i think the wide angle lens looks good hold on let me get it in place it's hard to do this while without making you guys dizzy Ah, hold on a second. I can't see what I'm doing from the side of the camera. Hello, hold on, let me move over. Hold on. There we go. Okay, now it's on. There's the live. Or wide angle. Okay, so that's the wide angle. So I think personally, I'm just going to be sticking with the wide angle lens. Not that you guys want to see my couch. Yeah, well, I have a bigger couch. Whoops, behind me. Um, let me Let me flip this camera around so you guys can look at me instead of my my couch uh so big big difference obviously i can put the wide angle on the front one too because all you do is if one is one and you can just flip it whichever way you want on the camera and the other thing if you want to get like really close up on something these things actually um unscrew and then you can get like that's another lens right there if you want to get like really super close up but um uh, okay so which one is this? this is the wide angle let me put this one back on and then we'll move on to some other Coolio stuffo I bought <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, okay, there you go. Back on. Okay, so that's the lens. Uh, let's see. Any questions? Will the lens work? The iPhone case is on it. Unhappily, yes. Um, no, the, the lens does not work with the case on it. So I did have to take the case. This isn't a big deal for me. Um, I was able to uh, just. Um, take my case off without like too much of a problem and um because mine just my phone just slips in and out but if you have like one of those cases that like locks all over it i could see how that can be a problem uh, let me show you another thing i got a microphone now you guys remember the first live stream i did on here uh last week i was wearing like my my apple headphones and um just using like the ones like hanging from my headphones because when i plug i unplugged it you guys were like oh no the audio is way better with that plugged in and yes, they do make them for the iPhone 7, Trisha. The link I have in the description goes to the one. And those are affiliates, full disclosure, to B&H Photo, which is where I buy all my, my camera gear. Um, those guys are awesome. Super great customer support. Good price, like cheapest prices I can ever find. And uh, if you ever need anything, just call them. And they have like really helpful people. Um, yeah. So yeah, you're right. You're picking up on that already. <laughs> so I got this microphone in, instead to to try out and this is i'm using it right now so this is what the microphone actually sounds like and um i think it's going to sound way better i'm going to take it out i'm going to let you guys be the judge of before and after all right so you can comment and let me know so this is with it i'm going to unplug it here we go now hopefully you can still hear me uh this is without it here's the microphone right here so i'm going to you go like this for for a little bit <laughs> um so does it sound a lot different or do you not hear me at all right now uh, hopefully you can still hear me. So this fits like any range phones. Like it's just, it's adjustable. Uh, this, it is adjustable. There we go. <laughs> you get, okay. Yes. Uh, yes, you can still hear me. Okay. Yeah. Mike sounds better. Yeah. So, so this just slides on, this plugs in your phone and then it just squeezes and pinches onto your phone and kind of holds it, holds it in. Um, this, it comes with this dead cat and uh, so what happens if you're gonna be outside and you don't want a lot of wind or anything kind of popping up, what you do is just boop, pop that in there and now uh, you got a dead cat. Now, it looks like really weird, right? <laughs> like you're gonna walk around with your phone outside, but uh, yeah, it reduces wind noise, uh, room noise you guys are saying. Let me put it back in, but this is, this is, now this is the most expensive thing I've bought, but as you guys know, like audio is a really big deal. So, hey, welcome to the community. You think good to have you. Let me plug it back in. Uh, there you go. Now let me tighten it up. Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, tighten it up. I dropped you. <laughs> okay. I'm back, I think. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, you guys got a headache now? Or are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, well, this, this, is, this is what happens when you go live, right? So this kind of stuff happens. So can you guys hear me now? 
uh, how much live streaming you get on full charge? That is a good question, Tractor Mike. So um, let me get to that in a second. I got some for that too. Uh, <laughs> new meeting to drop call. Yes, totally. <laughs> uh, Mike have a concussion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so what was I talking about? This thing. All right. So this this is cool. Oh, I forgot to tell you the lens. Comes with like this little uh, microfiber cloth thing and it also comes with like lens protectors. So it's really nice if you just want to slip it into your pocket and take it with you. Um, this you probably can't slip into your pocket as well unless you wear really big baggy jeans or something. Um, but the microphone you, certain, you certainly could. Um, yes, yeah, right through the no third party. This is straight uh, Rockstar Flipper. This is straight through the YouTube app. As well on live stream. Okay, let's talk about that battery thing that Tractor Mike was talking about. So this live streams will consume about uh, 1% of battery for every minute you stream. That's very rough average. Depends on your phone. You know, different phones have different battery capacities, things like that. But uh, the microphone was about uh, 60 I think, $60. Um, check the description uh, the link below. That'll take you right to it. But um, so... I'm not using it right now, but if you guys are ever doing this, like I'm planning on doing this, I got a bunch of trips coming up, and it'll be fun to do some like spontaneous interviews with other YouTube creators I'm gonna be hanging out with soon, just live with you guys. So make sure you turn on notifications to get that, or sign up to the text messaging list. Uh, text VC Live to four three five zero six, and I'll send you that. But a battery backup is gonna be very, very important, right? So this one has two ports. Uh, I'll put a link to a very popular one. There's one in the description too, if you want to check it out. Uh, but having a battery backup so you can recharge, definitely. And I'm sure you guys know what these are for, so that's that's not a that's not a thing. I don't talk about that that much. Um, hold on a second here. I have I gotta I gotta catch up with you. All these super chats, man. You guys are awesome, Conrad Martin, dude. Thank you so much. Five dollars. Oh, Conrad, you are awesome. Thank you. Lemon eating, no two dollars. Thanks for all the great tips, Tim. You're welcome. The Food Craftsman, $2. LR Brett's Aquatics, $2. Here's a rebate. <laughs> Thank you for that. The Cooking Corner. Hey, I love all your tweets. Thanks for tweeting me everything. I don't get, always get a chance to tweet back at everything, but thank you. I, I, I do see them. Tim, you always do these when I'm at work. Catch you soon. Sorry, The Cooking Corner. <laughs> I really am. Oh, man, you guys are awesome. Uh, thank you so much for supporting this. And... Um, and, and for the rebates and reimbursing me, I, so you guys re, you guys paid for this last time. Uh, I paid for this one myself, and it looks like you're reimbursing me for this one now too. So thank you. All right. So what else do I got here? All right. Let me let me flip you guys around here. I'm gonna take you off my stand, hopefully without dropping you. That would be ideal. Okay. Hold on a second here. Take you off. Show you what else I got going on. Woo. Okay. It worked. You're gonna. You're going to be a little fish eye, but that's okay. So this is the this is the stand I got. This is the Joby. I've had this thing for years. I love it. It's flexible. You can like bend it and twist it over like around whatever you want, <laughs> and it's really strong. It'll hold a DSLR camera like no problem. See, so I can put it back one handed here. Here, and uh, it comes with this nice ball head that tightens up really nice. This clip. This is the thing I wanted to show you. Now, there's a link to this, too. So all I'm doing for the tripod, because you guys know, like, having stable audio or having a stable video is really, really important. So what I did is uh, I'm using this thing. You know, I could, all my phone does is just kind of, like, squeeze, like, right into there. And uh, and it just holds it right on top. So it, this will hold, like, for any any phone as long as it's, like, that or smaller, which it holds my iPhone no problem at all. And let me tighten this up again so I don't... There we go. Uh, and so that's what's holding my that's what's holding my um, my iPhone right in there. And then that tripod, uh, I, I use this thing for like lots of different things because uh, it's so flexible you can attach it to anything. So link to that is down to that and to that are both down in the description down below. Um, what happened, guys? Did it say no? It's just, did it did something go wrong here? Oh, am I back? It came around and said no connection. Not sure what that's going. On. My my internet has been funky today. I tried. I just uploaded a vlog on our family's channel, and it took like two hours when it normally takes about ten minutes to upload. So hopefully we're still here. Okay. So um, is there anything else I'm missing? I think that's I think that's what I got here. The audio, the lens, and I got uh, the battery backup. 
all that all that stuff's what I got. So what questions do you guys have? How can I help you? I'm not like a super big expert on this, but I am learning a lot, and um, and hopefully you guys can see the the difference between having a wide angle lens and having a microphone, like a good microphone on here, and all that. So, how can you live stream with the YouTube app? Philip asks. Uh, so look at my video I uploaded to Video Creators last week, and that's a complete walkthrough tutorial of how to upload or how to live stream with the with the YouTube app. Um, that whole thing will. We'll, um, that's my complete walkthrough tutorial. Uh, let's see here. So, are you enjoying mobile live, Chantel Hills? Yes, I do. I'm looking for, I was thinking actually like Mondays might be a good time for me to do these with you guys every week, but I haven't committed to that yet. I'm kind of, I'm kind of still figuring things out. Uh, I see the beard coming back. No, it's not coming back. This is just laziness. This is just like, it's Monday, you know, uh, this is just what happens over the weekend. That's what that is. <laughs> Uh, how many costs an iPhone 7 in the, in your, con in the country? Um, oh man, it really depends on your plan. Different places do it differently, but I think if you're going to buy it with cash, like it's like 700 bucks or something, but, um, most people buy it in the U S they buy it along with their plan. So they pay like a monthly thing on it. Let's see here. Let me catch up with all your comments. Oh, let it grow. Nope. No more. Can the mic go with an iPad? Yes, that's the cool thing about this mic is this microphone, it was an iPad, Samsung, Android, like it's adjustable and it will fit. Uh, yes, you do need 10,000 subscribers in order to live stream. Yes, James, I will be at social media, um, uh, social media Marketing World in uh, March, next month. I'll be speaking there about, well, I think, no, I'm, I'm not speaking about live streaming. I'm speaking about live streaming at VidCon. At Social Media Exam and Marketing World, I'm speaking about engaging um, your YouTube audience. So, uh, do you think that the Rode video mic would work with a case on an iPhone 6? Yes, it does. Um, so, I tried it. This microphone does fit with cases because it's adjustable. Um, you know, see, like right there, that, that part slides in and out. And I actually tried it on my case. I don't think it would work on like a really thick case. But it, like I just have a spec like rubber case that kind of goes around it. it fits totally fine on there. So the, so, the, so the microphone will fit. The lens will not fit though uh, without that. Justin, thank you so much for the five dollars primal video. Thank you for all the great info you share, Tim. Oh, thank you. Chantel is going to VidCon Australia first time. Awesome. Hope hope you enjoy it. Uh, and thank Justin. Really seriously, thank you guys so much. I don't. I do. I, <laughs> Like you guys blow me away because I don't I like it always surprises me. Does that does that ever get old? Like you're like, oh, someone's gonna like actually support this. You know that's awesome. Okay, so let's see here. Can you stream on YouTube gaming with less than ten thousand on mobile? The Tyven Show. Uh, you might know more than me about that Tyven Show. Um, my impression is that no, you can't. I haven't tested it, but. Uh, I, I would, I'm assuming that no, you can't, you can't do that. Uh, you have to have the, um, you have that 10,000 subscribers. Okay. Can, whew, it's going back too fast. Let's see here. Is it possible to choose what advertisements will show up on your channel? Um, kinda. And your that's a different off topic question, but in uh, your AdSense, you can select, um, different categories. You like if you don't want gambling or alcohol, for example, showing up on like those ads. You can disable those categories, and you can also disable certain uh, URLs. If there's a certain advertiser you want, that type of thing. Uh, let's see here. Um, yes, you can live stream with more less than ten thousand subscribers. You just can't do it from your mobile phone through the YouTube app. You have to do it through like your desktop or through a third party or something like that. But the the, the native live streaming through the YouTube app is limited to um, to 10,000 subscribers. Okay. Let me get back to your, your comments here. Are YouTube, um, plan, is YouTube planning to roll out the mobile live stream over time to lower subs? It is my understanding that yes, they will be rolling out the live stream to the mobile live streaming to more people, um, over time. The reason that it's limited to 10,000, if you guys watched my video last week, you saw this, but the reason why it's limited to 10,000 is because, um, one, YouTube wants like the live streaming, mobile live streaming to get like a lot of really good press coverage, right? And the way to do that is to give it to people who have an active audience that will show up and engage like you guys are on on, on their live streams. Uh, another reason is they also don't want people to, like if someone has 10,000 subscribers, they probably invested a bit more in their channel. And so they're probably less likely to do risky, riskier things like like live stream, copyrighted material, um, and, do, and things like that, so... 
Uh, let's see here. A lot of good questions here. Anything else about the live streaming equipment? Uh, here, let me see here. I just used the iPad. Yep, that, that'll totally, totally work. Live stream 30 third party apps, you know, uh, tech for your needs. Oh, hey, good to see you, man. Uh, I, um, there's Wirecast Go, which is a mobile app. I think it's like six or seven bucks. I tried it and I stopped using it. It was just glitching. It was always crashing. I couldn't even get the app to stay open. Sometimes it wouldn't even connect. Sometimes it would create like 15 new streams. Like I had so many problems with it. I tried working there with the support and I just gave up. I stopped. So, um, I'm sorry if this is skipping a lot, skipping for you guys. Uh, I'm going to maybe do like another question or two. My internet has been funky here uh, lately, so I'm, I'm sorry if it's not it's not working for you guys. Uh, so let's see, Micro Productions. The Rode mic is better than some mics some smaller YouTubers use. That I know. Impressive. Well, thank you. I'm glad it sounds good for you guys. I'm looking forward to going back. God is not okay. Seth, Seth is not skipping for him, so maybe it's the internet connection. Smooth as butter for me. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad I, I'm looking. I'm gonna listen to this playback and, and hear this audio because I'm pretty sure it's way better than without it. Cool. And any last minute questions here? I'm gonna take off, guys. I'm gonna keep these these live streams kind of short and punchy, so the the replays are are still good. Uh, and people can still watch it. So streaming from data compared to Wi-Fi quality difference. I think it depends on the speed of your data. Um, cool. So let's see here. Um, thank you. You're welcome. When you be doing a live stream? I don't know, but to get notified, all you got to do is, uh, text the word VC live to four, three, five, zero six. And I will manually send you a text message when I go live next time. Hopefully some of you guys got that or just click the bell next to the subscribe button down below and get push notification, email not notification from the YouTube app when uh, I go live. There you go. Rockstar Flipper told you how to do that. <laughs> so thank you guys. I hope this was helpful for you. I got a video coming out for you guys on Thursday about um, how to do interviews and make making your like your interviews just rock, making them awesome. Yeah, Justin. Oh, sweet. I'm glad I'll be able to see you in the social media marketing world. That'll be cool. So cool, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out. And sorry for anyone who's experiencing buffering. <laughs> and uh, if it's your first time here, subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday, if not before, for another live streaming video. I do these spontaneously. Um, I do want to do a live stream with you guys about the unsubscribe bug. I got some thoughts on that and I've done some testing and I got some results and things I want to share with you guys. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow, Wednesday or something. We'll, I'll live stream and just talk to you guys about the uns unsubscribe stuff on YouTube. Okay? All right, cool. Talk to you guys then. Bye.